Hello everybody, it is me again, I am back and today I'm going to do the video I said I'd do in my last video which is all about social anxiety at conventions, how I've got a lot better, what I think you could possibly do to get a bit better if you suffer from not just social anxiety but just shyness in general at conventions and places like that. I was thinking about doing this as like a whole series but I don't know how well this is going to go down if anyone would be interested because obviously I'm going to point this out right now before we get into it. I'm not a doctor, I'm not qualified, I don't know what I'm talking about, just my personal experience. Nothing official here, I just thought it might be able to help someone, it's like baby advice, it's not like super important advice, if obviously if you've got really bad social anxiety, this possibly won't help you, this will be a bit too easy going. But I realised in my video, my Over Japan Tips video, which I'm still so embarrassed so many people saw, um, <laughs> I said, oh, be super friendly, I didn't really say how. I got diagnosed with social anxiety in 2014, a long time ago, and I actually started making YouTube videos in 2014, that's a weird coinkydink. I actually wrote an entire massive blog post on the days I sort of realised I had social anxiety back when I was at university, and you can read it, I will put a link in the description to that blog post. But if it's, some people don't like blog posts, it's a bit too much reading for a lot of people, so if that's you, I might make a video for it if you're interested. Okay, I need to sit up a bit higher. <laughs> so in May 2015, I finally had enough money and I went to Comic Con for the, I believe I went for the Saturday, which is very ambitious for someone that doesn't have, so someone that has social anxiety. If I actually like did like CBT, if you do it properly, you do like all these like planning sheets about what's gonna happen, what's the worst thing that could happen. And we did one for that, I've probably got it somewhere. And like what I really wanted to be able to achieve at Comic Con was I really wanted to be able to talk to someone and say, I like that art. That was it. And I did it. I said it to like broken coral, broken crystal. It's literally up here. <laughs> Still, it's been two years, I'm not taking it down, it's beautiful. If you feel really socially anxious at conventions, something I really think you should do is sort of like give yourself a goal and make it something that you feel like you'll be able to do. Like even if it's a little bit scary, as long as you feel like you're going to be able to go and do it, I think that's enough. Like my goal was to go and tell someone I like their art because I really like lots of people's art and I really wanted to tell someone in person because it's really nice and it and I did it, and it was really positive for me and them, because they were like, oh, thank you so much, and I was like, ah, thank you for being nice to me, which what would I expect? It wouldn't be any different, but if you have social anxiety, it's constantly like, they're gonna hate me, they're gonna think, what, oh, I'm so stupid, blah, 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 blah. So if you're socially anxious, and last time you went to convention, you had to leave in an hour because you just felt so overwhelmed by all the people, maybe make your goal stay two hours. Like, honestly, you don't have to make it anything big. It's taken me to the point Two years to get to the point where I am now, where I managed to go on my own and have a really good time and talk to loads of people and ask them to read my video. Like, it was really, really difficult to get to that point. It took two years of solid hard work. Celebrate every tiny victory when it comes to anxiety. You feel so much better. Can't stress that enough. Don't give yourself a completely impossible target, like get up on stage and be in the fashion show if last time you couldn't even go to like, the convention in the first place like it's just gonna be hard for you make, make the time not feel very happy because you're constantly stressed about this thing and it's just if it goes wrong it will be a massive backwards step with your anxiety you want to keep going forward even if you're just going forward like do 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 it's better than going backwards like <laughs> did you like that falling down the steps is really good so fast forward to 2017, as in Hyper Japan that's just gone, I went all by my little self. And then I went with my sister who is 11. So in Hyper Japan on my own I spoke to a lot of people, I got to chat to a lot of people, I even saw people that knew me from YouTube. And then on the Sunday when I went with my sister, obviously she's 11, so I had to be the big strong person that would grab the shop person's attention and ask for things, and I'd have to buy things, and I had to, I had to do everything that three years ago I couldn't do. And it gave me all sorts of confidence. And Hyper Japan on my own gave me so much confidence that I'm going to summer in the city on my own, which is all about meeting people. And obviously I still sort of have social anxiety, so I've given myself a little goal for that, because this was like, I couldn't do it at Hyper Japan, I was this close, and I couldn't do it. It's like, I saw a couple of like YouTubers who were like a similar size, a bit bigger than me. And one of them, I was their 40 second subscriber, a long time ago, probably mm, beginning of last, not beginning of last year, like the end of last year, they've like come up so fast compared to me. And she'll probably be a massive YouTuber at some point and everyone will be like, 
she's not the same size as you, she's colossal. But at this moment in time, she's only got like 400, 500 more than me, so we're both in the thousands. Unless 10 people unsubscribe to me because they hate social anxiety videos, eh, it could happen. So yeah, my main tips for social anxiety and conventions is start small, give yourself a goal that is achievable for you. Like, don't think about what everyone else can do, think about what you can do, what will leave you feeling like a glowing ray of sun once you leave. <laughs> Another tip for convention anxiety is go on the Friday if you can. I know lots of people work during the week or go to school during the week, so that's harder. But if you can get away on the Friday and go, it's your best bet for anxiety. Everyone's really hyped because it's the beginning of the convention, so everyone's super friendly and there's just generally less people. Something I always do when I'm trying to battle social anxiety is I think about the worst possible thing that could happen, which sounds like contradictory, but trust me. Think about the worst thing that could happen if you wore the nicest outfit you had to hotel, the one that you really love. And think about the worst thing that could happen. Someone says, I don't like that. I mean, you look stupid. It's not likely to happen. I must stress, that's not very likely to happen. It's like minus 10%, but that's the worst possible outcome. And think about it. Is it worth not wearing that outfit at all in case somebody says that, but wearing an outfit that you don't really like as so much, and then someone could still say that. Like, again, this is one of them things that you've got to be able to realise for yourself. I can't just tell you these things. These are self actualizations that you must realise to achieve your full, full potential as an adult. If you are very, very anxious in your early stages and like all of this still sounds like a bit much, have a backup plan. I think at the Hype Japan 2015, the first one I went to, was at the O2. And I felt really stressed and scared, so we had lunch at like 11, <laughs> so I could like calm down a bit and we went to the harvester. <laughs> there you go, fun fact, we had lunch at 11 because I was anxious and I wanted to like pre-prepare to go back out. Find a quieter spot, this isn't always easy, some conventions have no quieter spots, but Hyper Japan at Tobacco Dock, like the alleyways were quite quiet, you could probably sit there and recollect if you needed to. And at Comic Con, where the like fun fair is, that's always a bit quieter. There's always like quiet like corners in the room. You can just sit on the floor, no one cares. <laughs> just having to re-record this ending because I had dry shampoo over the side of my face. Does anyone else get baby hairs really, really bad? Like, like I've hairsprayed them all back, so they're not going to be as bad as they usually are. But my baby hairs are the worst I've ever known. It makes me look really annoying, and I get really distracted by them. And now I've said it, you're going to get distracted by them too. Brilliant! <laughs> so I just wanted to say, like, when it comes to social anxiety at conventions, my main biggest, biggest tip is small baby steps. Do what you think you can achieve. Don't worry about anyone else. Just think about you. What will make you feel happy? What will be good for you? If you're shy, and you're quite happy being shy, don't feel like you need to be super, super talkative at conventions. You don't have to. People understand shy people especially at conventions like Hyper Japan and Comic Con, it's something like people are very aware of and people will be respectful of, so don't feel like you have to be super talkative at conventions. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I really hope that in the future you go to conventions and you have an amazing time and this has sort of helped you and you feel more confident. If this video has helped you and you would like to know more about social anxiety, and my social anxiety in particular, and hearing about how I coped with it at school, at work, at university, and all these brilliant places where social anxiety is such a big issue. Let me know if only one person says it, that social anxiety, so no talking about it will help. I will do it, because I really want to help people. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing convention, whatever you're going to, wherever in the world. And I will see you all soon. I don't know what video I'm doing next. This was my big idea and now I've done it. So I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.